Hi, it's Grace, and I have a full face of makeup. It feels really weird, to be honest. I haven't done it for a long time, and I was just like, let's give it a go. Like 57 million hours later, because I'm not used to doing it. I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't feel right anymore. I'm okay doing my eyes, but ugh, having stuff on your skin like this, I don't know how I used to do it all the time. Anyway, um, I guess it kind of puts me in a different mood too. It's like getting ready to go to work as opposed to waking up at work. I'm not sure that's exactly the right thing, but hopefully you understand what I mean. Okay, so as usual, I've been to Kmart. I picked up today some mini blocks, 280 pieces, which is gonna be a pain in my behind. But look at how cute! Teeny, teeny, tiny blocks. And on this side, it tells you exactly how teeny, tiny they are. It's crazy. I have a couple of very small, I think they're called nano blocks, the ones from Japan. Um, Ghost in a pumpkin, if I can remember, I'll put photos in, but they're super annoying and every time you move them they seem to fall apart. So hopefully that's better, maybe a little bit less frustrating. It probably doesn't matter, it was $4.50, so uh, a little bit of fun. Whoop, I just knocked that over. Um, I also bought Velcro from Kmart for a project I'm working on, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, I went to the reject shop pretty sure that's where this came from. I needed a whiteboard and Kmart have had $2 whiteboards forever and I couldn't find even a four or five dollar one. It was like ten dollars and above. I just want like this size. Teeny tiny. Um, I suppose I can open it actually. Uh, do you have a tear strip? No, that would be too easy. Um, I should unwrap this and then probably talk. It's super annoying. Um, I like whiteboards because I write a lot of notes and then you know you do stuff and want to consolidate them and have to write a whole new note. Whiteboards better. So this side has little squares. Um, I don't actually know what it's called, sorry. Velita. Okay, that is not in English, that's why I don't understand what's going on. But um, I'm assuming the little squares are to help space writing maybe. And then it's double sided so I can draw what I want on the back. Ooh, that's nifty eraser. I like it. And uh, I can probably take it out of there to use, but that's handy too. Mm. Beautiful. Yep. Love it. <laughs> um, no, it's great. I love whiteboards. Oh, most important part. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, for two dollars, I'm happy with that. Um, what else do I get? And because I buy smells everywhere, I have Impulse Romantic Spark. I've had this one before, and I like it. I can't really describe what it smells like. Various chemicals, but I like it. <laughs> um, I had to go to the post office and post something back to Amazon. Uh, in America. Like, they should have it over here, all in one go. Like, can't you just give it to their delivery centre and they send it back? I'm sure you've got planes going over. Not the point. Um, so I was waiting in line. I saw these. I've seen everyone play with them online and I've been jealous. This was $2. And I was like, alright. I want to have some fun. Uh, the one at the front had this little bit here, like, sealed. And I don't know whether that's supposed to. I thought it was, like, supposed to be open so you could pop them out. Anyway, I picked one that already had its bits open because I thought it'd be easier. Does the middle one have a dog? Oh, oh it's on my side. Okay, hang on. There's nothing on that one. There's nothing on that one. But the middle one. Puppy! Okay, that's really cute. Um, I didn't know like how easy it would be for me to do with my hands. And, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most amazing thing, but... Maybe it'll build some strength up in my fingers or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's kind of fun. And for $2, I can highly recommend that. It's pretty cute. And, um, oh, okay. I've got one more thing. We'll try a snack. Oh, that really hurt. Uh, before I get on to my arts and crafts for this week. Um, raspberry wafers. These are supposed to be for small children. Uh, suitable for six months plus, dairy free, encourages self-feeding. We can only hope. 
uh, yummy rice wafers with a hint of raspberry. There are 16 whole grams of these things in this box. I can't tell you how much they were. I don't remember. There are four packets of them though. Oh, and this got me on like a whole tangent of like what a communion wafer is made out of. Apparently not the same stuff. Thought I'd ask the internet just in case. Oh, oh they're long. Mm, kind of like a, well, rice cracker. Funny about that. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. Alright, so it's really stuck in my teeth and it's gross. Alright, so I'm super annoyed that's all stuck in my teeth like weird cement and it's just weird. Like, they taste alright. It really is like nothingness with a hint of raspberry. Not too bad. But, um, yeah. I don't know if it's worth that being stuck in my teeth. <coughs> Probably not. Okay, Arts and Crafts. We have... Oh, yeah. So, I bought some Sharpies, like a big pack of Sharpies. I will put a picture in of what I bought. Oh, and a silver and gold one. And on a canvas, I think it's working pretty well. I haven't used Sharpies for a long time, but on a canvas, they kind of blend together, which is nice. So... I don't know how that's going to go. I don't really mind. I'm having fun colouring. Um, I started this. I realised that I had done the other three and I had not finished that one. Um, unsure. <laughs> uh, I've got a base colour at least. I mixed a nice like, base so it's in that little pumpkin spice pot again. And it seems to be better than the last silver like grey I made. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, what else was I working on? Oh yeah, sorry to try and kind of get me in the right mind space and I don't want to move on. That's like the most horrible thing to call it, but I don't know what to call it. I think I've mentioned before that, you know, Japan has different eras called different things. Maybe it was just the lunar era. It's like the post lunar era we don't have a name for it yet I don't know uh anyway <laughs> moving on to not moving on again I hate that oh my gosh I need to start processing everything that's happened a bit more um I still cry a lot <laughs> and that's okay but I need to start working towards that there will be a new kitten coming into our lives and they can't have the burden of our trauma and grief. Like, they, they're going to get a little bit of it. They're not going to avoid that. But maybe there's some things that we can do so we don't put as much of that burden on. Like, if we can acknowledge it and rein it in a little bit and just be very conscious of our interactions with someone entirely different. Try not to have expectations. It's going to happen. Try not to make comparisons it's gonna happen a little bit but like we don't want to make ourselves feel worse about living and trying to enjoy our lives too so I've been talking a lot about all this stuff and I have been obviously using crafts to get through some of this stuff for the last seven months I can't believe it's been that long um, so I have made stuff for Luna and myself, obviously, and, well, if I can hold this up, this used to be a, uh, flannelette pyjama top, like, you can kind of see how it was, and I've been pinning and sewing, and hopefully at some point today I can finish sewing it and pop it in the wash, because it has... <laughs> It might have a few blood stains on it from picking my fingers with needles while trying to pin things. That's always fun. I should probably wash that off. But like essentially, it's like the full front and the arms are kind of pinned to the sides. But to try and make it, I don't know, a little bit more rectangular. Um, like that. Well, that's actually the back. I had to do something weird to even it up because the back is longer than the front but that should be the inside oh, and it should oh, 
fold all back in and get stuffed. <laughs> get stuffed. <laughs> um, and hopefully, oh my gosh, if I can hold this up. Yeah, that really does not show you what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, maybe I should just wait and show you when I have finished. But I wanted to make something out of this. And I really wanted to make something for the new kitten. Just, I don't know, again, spending the time while I'm doing it. Just processing some things in my brain. Um, so this is a pyjama top that I have had for... Oh my gosh, I might have got this set of pyjamas as a teenager or like early 20s, so it's around a long time. I wore the pants like to death, but tops never that comfortable. I've got a couple lying around. I have a grumpy bear one somewhere, but I thought that this one said bad cat, spoil me. It was a bit cute, so maybe they can be a naughty kitten. We can spoil them. Um, This might be horrendous, by the way. I don't think I mind because um, I don't know, I'm doing it out of love and it might not look very aesthetically pleasing but hopefully it'll be cozy and if they hate it <laughs> that's fine um, Luna hated so many of the things that we bought for her or actually she appreciated a lot of things we made for her but yeah a lot of things bought for her she'd be like oh yeah whatever um, so it is for the kitten but it is for me um, no. Hopefully it looks good. At the moment I can't kind of picture it the way it's supposed to be. I didn't really know which way to put the seams. So that's with them facing in. And it looks nicer on the outside. But once it's stuffed I'm not sure how that's going to make them all sit. I didn't want it to be like flopping in. Oh I know it's going to be stuffed but like stuffed and kind of standing in. I was hoping it would come out a little bit. But I won't know until I start stuffing them. Them? It? Oh, I left these in the back open. So hopefully I can use them for stuffing. And then oh, down here, I'm use that Velcro. Um, it's stick-on stuff. So I can stick it on there and then just run some sewing along it. In case we have to empty out all the stuffing one day and replace it. Um, might not happen can probably all go in the wash together but just in case uh, I think there'll be like one part maybe you won't be able to like get to might be like the front seam bit but I'll see what I can do with that it probably won't be so bad if I had to unpick it and restuff it just like one part anyway that is what I've been up to it's not terribly exciting um, oh by the way these things oh. I bought two of those. They are, what, are this size. I was hoping that maybe I could manipulate it to still keep it in a cover, um, but it's a weird shape. So I don't think that's gonna work, but that's all right. I'll figure that one out when it's ready. Um, I don't know. I really just haven't been doing a lot. Uh, I have been trying to do a little bit of housework. I've been trying to clean up this room. You'll see behind me is like a mess. Um, but like I took the towel off to wash it and now I have to like wipe everything down and put it back. That seems like hard work. So in here, oh my god, that's way too many teeny tiny pieces. Awesome. Fantastic. And the base. It looks very pretty. Mm, and a booklet. Oh yeah, that's just going to fold out to be huge, so I might avoid that right now. Uh, I really don't want to start that. I have a whole cupboard, like, over there full of, like, arts, crafts, puzzles, sewing, just everything. Um, and then I've got a little basket sort of over there with, like, little stuff I want to do now. And I've got a couple of things set out um, on the little table that you're currently sitting on. So... I really need to clean and then crafts and make videos because I don't know I've been a bit slack and maybe try and think of a bit happier content for this year thanks for uh, sticking with me it's been a rough time but I think 
like it's not always going to be happy but I think I'm okay enough to stop crying as much to you guys um I'll still tell you like how I'm feeling but I don't know I think I'm doing a little bit better again I could be wrong but we'll try um and in saying that I still have one final or a couple of videos about Luna to put out um if you don't want to watch it that's cool don't watch it but I've been trying this whole time to make a video about her life our love for her um and her last day with us and it's been really really rough uh so I've tried to film it a few times and I'm just going to edit it um all together so you can see how long it's taken me to try and put into words how awesome she is but I would really like to it's not closing stuff down but it's I don't know you can't wrap up grief but there's a few sort of physical loose ends that we can tie up to help us along a little bit we still haven't transferred her I still haven't made these videos I wanted to about her life so there'll be a couple of those but hopefully I've got weird things planned like there's a list behind you um so I've got another <sighs> starlight coming so I might actually just get them all together and film a video and then add the other one if I ever get that one um AI picks my video hot topic in our house at the moment is AI generated everything so I was thinking maybe pick an AI to pick my video it might be weird <laughs> it might be fun but yeah I think just some more fun um I still have a list of crying hacks that I want to do because I still think that that stuff's funny um like snorkel face mask um like moisturizer and a snorkel thing maybe some goggles underneath like that's gonna be funny uh, tissues in a like mask so that you can just like cry and it absorbs in there maybe that's a fun time um and I still have some Halloween content I really wanted to film so like Halloween forever there's um I don't know it's like hair and makeup so that can be any time right it's never too early to be ready for Halloween I don't know maybe I'll do better this year than last year although that was super fun it took me forever to edit, but oh my gosh, that was just one of the funniest things I have ever done. Um, I managed to catch on video, it was just like way funnier. So if you guys didn't watch that, I don't mind either. It was very different from my regular content, but it was so much fun. <laughs> oh, I hope you watched it. Um, I think I made a Halloween playlist. If I can remember, I'll put it at the end of this video as like the recommended thing. I'll try. Okay, I should, I don't know actually, like, all dressed up and nowhere to go. I've got housework to do. Maybe I could just look pretty doing housework. <sighs> I'm going to look this pretty doing housework. I'm going to film it. Mm, maybe. Maybe I should just put a movie on. <laughs> Sounds better. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. Probably not quite as regularly as I have been for the last month, but hopefully it won't be too long. Bye.